Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Ahabat tafillah Illustrating the importance of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes the narration of Abu Darda radiyallahu ta'ala anhu in which he said everything has a polish and the polish of the hearts is remembrance of Allah the exalted Look at this narration of Mu'a, uh, of uh, Abu Darda, radiyallahu ta'ala an, a sahabi jalil, radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in, which shows us the importance of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is an expiation of your sins. And remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a way of cleansing and cleaning the heart. And remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes way for you to do good and righteous actions and helps you and helps you to prevent and from indulging and engaging in negative evil actions. Because if you're busy remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have less opportunity to do shar. If you're busy commanding the good, you have less opportunity to enjoin the bad. So it's very important for the very important for the believer to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. Listen to this narration of Ka'b ibn Malik radiyallahu ta'ala an, who said whoever abundantly remembers Allah will cure themselves of hypocrisy. So remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be a cure for your hypocrisy because you know you're doing evil sins. You know what you do when you're secluded by yourself. And if you have any remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this will remind you and help to cure you from doing those evil actions. The more we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and fill our hearts with the remember of Allah, remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Tawheed Allah, Tawheed al-Rububiyyah, Tawheed al-Uluhiyyah, Tawheed al-Asma'i wa Sifat, reflecting on the uh, divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and supplicating to Him. Uh, knowing and understanding Tawheed or Rububiyyah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created everything. He's the Lord and sustainer of everything, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also, Tawheed al-Ibadah, and that's where your dhikr comes in. It's a type of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We'll have a Tawheed al-Ibadah. That is direct uh, worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, acknowledging his monotheism, that he is the only one worthy of worship, and putting it into action by supplicating and by remembering him often on your tongue, by doing actions of ibadah, actions of remembrance. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by all of his divine names and attributes, to bless us to be of the dhakirin wa dhakirat, those people who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the male believers and the female believers. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with jannah to fardos, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.